Some of you may be aware that I recently switched to Colmac, an alternative keyboard layout that prioritises comfort. When switching to Colmac, I considered several different options. One of those options I considered is Colmac DH. For those who don't know, Colmac DH is a simple mod for Colmac that changes the position of a few keys, most notably the D and H keys, hence the layout's name. Overall, this layout is a very minor change to the Colmac layout that provides very significant improvements to ergonomics and comfort. This layout also makes it far easier to type some of the most common letter combinations in the English language. So, with all the advantages that this layout has, you might ask why I don't use it. Well, let's talk about that in today's video, right now, on the Linux Lounge. So the first reason why I don't use Colmac DH is quite a simple one. Simply put, I'm a creature of habit and I don't want to change. For me, Colmac is more than good enough. It completely eliminates the discomfort that I had with QWERTY, while giving me a very fast and efficient typing method. Sure, Colmac DH might be more efficient or more comfortable or even faster, but frankly, I'm at the point of diminishing returns and I don't think that the effort of relearning a bunch of key placements would be worth it. It's also worth mentioning that I don't tend to half do things, which means that when it comes to optimising things in my life, I have to go the whole way, which often can be a bad thing. If I switch to Colmac DH, I'd probably be quickly switching to something like Workman after that, or something else after that even. So, for that reason, I kind of just want to stick with what works so I can maintain my own sanity. Another reason that I don't want to switch to Colmac DH is a far more substantial one. Colmac is just far more widely supported than Colmac DH. Sure, Colmac DH is supported on Linux, but unfortunately that's about it. Whereas with vanilla Colmac, I can sit down at any Mac, Linux device, or even iPad and start typing with Colmac which is something that I regularly do. If I was a Colmac DH user, this simply wouldn't be possible. And in fact, it wouldn't be possible for me to type on an iPad at all, because you can't install third-party hardware keyboard layouts on iPads, which is something that I do need to do. Another reason that I don't want to switch to Colmac DH is a far more substantial one. Colmac is just far more widely supported than Colmac DH. Sure, Colmac DH is supported on Linux, but unfortunately that's about it. Whereas with vanilla Colmac, I can sit down at any Mac, Linux device, or even iPad and start typing with Colmac, which is something that I regularly do. If I was a Colmac DH user, this simply wouldn't be possible. And in fact, it wouldn't be possible for me to type on an iPad at all, because you can't install third-party hardware keyboard layouts on iPads which is something that I do need to do. My reasons for not using Colmac DH really boil down to me not wanting to change and liking that vanilla Colmac is a bit more widely supported than Colmac DH, even if Windows, the most common desktop operating system, still doesn't support either. So all in all, those are my reasons for not using Colmac DH. I know that they're perhaps somewhat shallow, but I hope this video could give some clarification as to why I don't use what is, objectively on paper, a superior keyboard layout. So with that said, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.